Okay, welcome back. And now we're going to do another example. This one deals with a rocket launching up into the air and a TV camera following the rocket as it blasts off, blasts off into space, let's say. Okay, so let's read and then set it up. A rocket is launched so that it rises vertically. A camera is positioned 5,000 feet from the launch pad. When the rocket is a thousand feet above the launch pad, its velocity is 600 feet per second. Find the necessary rate of change of the camera's angle as a function of time so that it stays focused on the rocket. All right, so now here's the situation. So let's draw. So there's our triangle. We're dealing with another triangle, right? So here's the camera. The rocket is going up. Oops. Right? The rocket is going up. The rocket is, so let's call this, um, let's call this X, let's call this Y, and let's call this S. And the rocket is what? How many feet away from? 5,000 feet from the launch pad. Okay. Um, it says when the rocket is 1,000 feet above the launch pad. So that means when Y equals, what was it? 1,000 feet. Okay? When the rocket is 1,000 feet above the launch pad, its rate, its velocity is 6,000 feet per second. Well, it's going vertical, so it's, it's the, the change, it's going to be change in y over time, right? So that means dy dt is what? 600 feet per second. Okay. This is also y prime, right? Y of t, y prime of t, if you will. Okay. Now, oh, we've also got the angle. That's that's the other variable, right? The angle that the camera is making with the ground, right? So as the plane goes up, the camera is tilting further and further. Um, higher, so the angle is increasing, right? So there's a change in the angle. So the two related rates is dy dt, and over here we have d theta dt, right? So okay, so there's the two related rates, okay? This is changing, but we're not interested in that in this problem. So don't eat it. Um, X is not changing because that's not moving. So only two things that are moving is or changing is Y and theta. Okay. So now, okay, we need a formula that is going to relate theta and Y, but also includes X. Well, what? We'll do it. What equation will do it? It'll be tangent, right? So we know that tangent theta equals y over x. Okay? And since x is not changing, x is constant, we'll just going to put this in here. That's 5,000, okay? These two variables are changing, so we do not want to substitute yet, okay? That would be a mistake. So now what we're going to do is we're going to write this as function, so this is going to be tangent of 
theta of t, right, equals y of t over 5,000. And now what we're going to do is we're going to differentiate both sides. Once we differentiate both sides, we're going to solve for um, theta and then plug in our values. Okay, so let's do it. So now, what's the derivative of tangent? So we're going to use the chain rule here. So the derivative of tangent is secant squared. So we get secant squared theta of t times the derivative of the inside, which is going to be d theta dt, or theta prime of t, whatever you want to use. So it would be theta prime of t. Okay, I like Leibniz notation here. So equals, now, the 5,000 is a constant, so I'm just going to take the derivative of y. So this is going to be 1, well, it's just going to be um, y prime of t divided by 5,000. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by the secant squared theta of t because that's what I'm solving for the change in angle. Okay? So then I'm going to get theta prime of t equals y prime of t uh, divided by 5,000 divided by, right, so it's going to be secant squared theta of t. Okay, so now, now this is where I'm going to plug in the values, but I've got to find theta, right? I've got to find what theta is. So when when y is at the, when the rocket is a thousand feet above the ground, we know that this is the rate. This is the uh, the velocity. But what is theta? Because we need to know what theta is at that moment. Well, let's use tangent, right? So so we got tangent theta equals. Well, we're going to have 1,000 divided by 5,000. Which equals 1 fifth. Right? So now, how are we going to use that to help us here? Okay, so let's see here. Do, 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 do. Hold on a second. Do I want to do that? Maybe I don't need tangent because we're dealing with secant. So secant, right? So secant theta is equal to one over cosine theta. Okay.
Okay, so let's do it this way. Yeah, so tangent's wrong. So let's do secant theta, which is this. So we're going to find cosine theta. Well, cosine, so this is, oh, so we are going to need s. We are going to need to find s in this case, right? So we're going to use the Pythagorean identity because in order to use cosine, it's adjacent over hypotenuse. So let's do it. So we're going to need, so it's going to be um, 5,000 squared plus 1,000 squared equals S squared. So in other words, S is going to equal the square root of 5,000 squared plus 1,000 squared. Okay, so now, uh, calculator, so what are we going to get? We're going to get um, 25 million plus 1 million. So we're going to take the square root of that. So we get the square root of 26 million which is going to give us 26. Oh, no, 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 it's square root of 26. The square root of 26, right? Yes, I believe that's right. Hold on a second, no, 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 that's not right. No, of course not. Hold on a second. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a million. Oh, okay, okay, I forgot the thousand. This is times a thousand, right? Okay. Okay. So now that we got S, now we can go back to this. So this is, uh, so cosine theta, so this is going to equal 1 over, so cosine theta is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse, so what we're going to get is we're going to get um, 5,000 divided by the square root of 26 times 1,000. Right? And then this is going to equal square root of 26 times 1,000 over 5,000. And then, of course, those are going to cancel and we get uh, 26. Oh, yeah, yeah, so the final answer is going to be secant theta is going to equal the square root of 26 over 5. All right, so that's secant theta. So now, we're, now that's secant theta. So that means secant squared theta is going to be the square of this, which gives us 26 divided by 25. All right, so now we've got that. See, now we had to do a little bit of work but now we can plug in the rest of this because y, pro, uh, y prime of t dy dt is given to us right here at 600. So this is going to be now 600 divided by 5,000 and this is going to be 26 25th. All right, so now, guess what? We are done, okay? So let's finish this off. And so we get theta prime of t is equal to, well, what are we gonna get? This and this is gonna cancel with these two zeros. So this is gonna be six divided by 50. 
Okay, so this is going to be 6 over 50 times, well, 26, 26 25 we can, um, well, we can change this to uh, 25 over 26, right? Ah, so this is going to divide into this, so that's going to make this into one half, and then six, and well, they're both even, so this is, will give you three, this will give you 13, and we get three over 26, and of course, this is going to be what, feet per second, right? Yes, feet per second, no, 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 it's angle. So this will be radians per second. So this is going to be radians per second. Okay? And I think, I think that's it. Yep, that's it. So what's the recap? So when the rocket is a thousand feet, above the ground, it's traveling at 600 feet per second. At that moment, the angle of the camera has to be moving at a rate of three radians, or 326 radians per second to keep up with the rocket. And that's the answer. Have a great day. See you next time.